We're gonna start by just doing a basic name search. Everything I'm doing is going to be um, from public websites, and I can let you know where it's found um, afterwards. How privacy conscious do you think you are? I'm relatively privacy conscious. Um, I would have not. Yeah, I definitely use the same password for everything. That's, that's, what, comes when, that's what comes up that's when I do a reverse address lookup. Okay. Yeah, and this is the 17 more. <laughs> um, <laughs> this profile is associated with. Yep. Phone number. Yeah, that's his phone number. Um, related to. That's his mother. Um, one of his brothers. That kind of demonstrates how expensive it is, right? Yeah, that's a lot of information from an address. Just an address? Yeah. <laughs> it might be time to do something about it. You, yes, you, watching this video, have you searched for your information online? If you haven't, seriously, pause this video and go ahead and try it out. Most people aren't really aware that quite literally the foundation of their lives is practically public information. Home addresses, phone numbers, emails, relatives. Let's talk about this incredibly invasive industry, how it works, and a service that's attempting to tackle it here on TechLore. Every account you create, every company that gets your information is another entity that can share that information. In the United States especially, data brokers collect, harvest, and share this information to those looking to pay for it. Most people actually have profiles accessible through sites like My Life and the dozens of others which anyone is able to access and purchase your information for typically just a small fee. This is Rob, and he's the CEO of a company called Abine, who runs a service called Delete Me, which aims to simplify the process for users to be removed from these sites, which is traditionally a very grueling process. I had myself, our editor, and a family member sign up for Delete Me. For myself, I went in pretty confident as I'm constantly covering my OPSEC and ensuring I'm doing a good job with this kind of stuff. Delete Me did find one site that had a piece of superficial information, so I came out mostly clean. The family member had dozens of sites with their information and they thought they were doing a good job, so this was actually a big surprise to them. Our editor also had lots of sites with various data points. For both our editor and the family member, they have now taken more precautions, and since the information has been removed, they are waiting to see if things come up again after everything is said and done. So here's why this industry is awful. If your information is removed today, that doesn't mean the website won't relist you again later. So there's still the core issue of your information being fed from some miscellaneous sources. There's lots of places and it's hard to pin down uh, one, what the database engineers call the primary keys, the identifiers that they use to connect all this information together are ones that, you know, we're familiar with. And I think uh, we ought to try to give out less, which are which include our phone number, our primary email address and uh, and potentially our credit card number. Uh, so the companies rely on these unique identifiers to keep the data uh, that they're getting on all of us and building these profiles uh, accurate. And here's one of the areas we're a bit mixed on. We're very DIY back here and we always encourage users to address the root issue themselves. These are many of the things that we cover in Go Incognito. There's even a Go Incognito lesson covering how to manually accomplish what Abine's Delete Me does yourself, which funny enough actually references their free guide to doing it as well. However, the more I'm talking to some of our one-on-one -on -one consulting clients, the more I'm realizing that people don't have time to do this themselves. And Avine is offering a service that can help take care of this problem starting today. And while they're in the process of cleaning up the issue you've created, you can clean up the back end to ensure it doesn't happen again. To accompany this, Delete Me is a subscription service, so they'll continually check up on you, which means you can see and verify if your information doesn't reappear after their initial check. So let's break this down. In my perfect world, I do recommend people do this DIY because they can save money. One exception is if you have the funds available, it's always good to get a second set of eyes to make sure you didn't miss something, which Delete Me can do, and I ended up missing one thing. The next step or option from there is signing up for a service like this, which handles the impacts while you proactively take care of the root problems. 
you can then check monthly if what you did is working. Now, the third option and what I discourage is over relying on a tool like Delete Me to keep cleaning up after you because this data is coming from somewhere and you should proactively figure out where somewhere is and how you can stop it from happening. Now, this service isn't perfect. First, Rob himself says it's not a perfect tool. The data industry is playing a cat and mouse game and Delete Me is constantly adapting and working with customers one-on-one -on -one to ensure they didn't miss something. We're never gonna be perfect. And you know, we tell our customers that all the time. We, we are not gonna be perfect. If you find yourself somewhere, if a new listing has popped up, tell us. We're gonna take care of it. You know, we have uh, people, not just technology. We will work with you. But that's the only way to, to create a truly good service given the current uh, dynamics of the marketplace. Second, there is a huge degree of trust since for Delete Me to know who you are and what your data is, you have to submit this information to them. Like Rob says though, this is predominantly built on trust and after 10 years they are still trusted by their customers and we haven't found a reason to distrust them either. Like most things, we wish some of their tools were open source, but I think the core issue here goes beyond just open sourcing their tools since they still have to handle your information one way or another. Third. Again, this is not a solution to the core problem. Delete Me is dealing with the aftermath of the issue, their cleanup crew. It's still your job as an individual to figure out who or what is responsible for this data collection in the first place. To bring it back together, I think this tool is overall awesome. It automates something that is otherwise ridiculously challenging to accomplish on your own for what I consider a pretty fair price, considering the length of time you're getting protection. I personally recommend to you guys, assuming that your data is on these people searching sites, to maybe get Abine if you think it's a good fit for you, and use the length of time for the subscription to deal with the root problem so that maybe one day you don't need to use services like Delete Me, which honestly should be the default in a world today. It is worth mentioning that Abine is lobbying and attempting some legal stuff to help with this, so we'll see if that gets anywhere down the road. And that's really it for this review. If you enjoy Abine and want to get it, we have two links below. One is a kickback link if you want to support us at no additional cost to you, and the other link is just a normal link to their website if you don't want to support us. I also want to mention that if you're a DIY person, our course Go Incognito really does take you through all of this. It's an incredible resource and we've had thousands of people go through it, so check that out as well. And that's it for this video. Peace out.